finally tonight, we have a well-earned induction into the World Chess Hall of Fame. Grandmaster Eugene Torrey. Eugene tells me that chess was very much a family affair. In fact, he once played in a team competition with his six brothers and his as team members and his father as captain. In 1974, at 22 years old, Torrey became the first Asian to earn the GM title. It was one of many firsts. He beat reigning world champion Anatoly Karpov in a game that's part has become part of Filipino chess history. Now we'll read his plaque. Eugene Torrey, born in 1951. Philippine Grandmaster Eugene Torrey has been a trailblazer for Asian chess for half a century, achieving a number of continental milestones, including first Grandmaster in 1974, first to defeat a reigning world champion, Natalie Karpov, in 1976, and first to reach the candidate stage of the World Championship, 1982-1983. A member of the Philippine Olympia team, a record 23 times, Torrey won three individual medals on board one, silver at Nice 1974, and bronze at Malta 1980 and Dubai 1986. He also won a bronze medal on board three at Baku 2016 at the age of 64. Torrey was the official second of Bobby Fischer in his 1992 rematch with Boris Spassky. On behalf of FIDE, the International Chess Federation, and with the authority granted to me, I hereby induct Eugene Torrey into the World Chess Hall of Fame. <clears throat> Pleasant evening to Mr. Rex and Mrs. Jenny Sinkfield, the benefactor and host of this event, to my fellow co-inductees and to all chess lovers who are here today. This is my first time to be in the chess capital of the world, and it is with great honor to be among the distinguished people who are gathered here today. Chess has been an incredible blessing in my life, providing me with cherished memories and experiences that will remain with me forever. All the world champions, including those who were active in the game before I was born, became part of my life through their classical books and immortal games. I had the privilege of sharing memorable times with some of them. One such experience was with my good friend, Bobby Fisher, who finalized the rules of his invention while we were together in Hungary. Three years later, we went to Buenos Aires for the first public demonstration of Bobby's Fischerandom. It is no exaggeration that when you are dealing with Bobby, many unexpected things could happen without going into all the details, the projected Fischerandom match between the champion of Argentina and myself was aborted. Although we did not become part of history, I'm happy to mention that my countryman, Grandmaster Wesley So, is the first and reigning Fishy Random World Champion. My induction to the World Chess Hall of Fame is the defining moment of my chess career and is an affirmative validation 
of the profession I chose to pursue and that my passion for chess would ultimately result in significant achievement. And now, my being an inductee to the Hall of Fame becomes a genuine source of pride and honor, an accolade I wish to share with my family, my country, and my fellow chess players throughout the world, the Asians in particular. I wish to convey my gratitude to various individuals and organizations. My humble achievements in chess would not have been possible without the moral support, encouraging influence, and material contributions of the many people and various organizations to whom I was fortunately connected. My sincere and heartfelt gratitude is owed, first and foremost, to my creator for the gift of life and talent. To Mr. Rex and Mrs. Janine, Janine Sinkfeld, benefactors of the Chess Hall of Fame events. Chess is very fortunate to have your genuine love and support for the game. Thank you very much. To FIDE for bringing all chess federations and players harmoniously together with a special thanks to former President Florencio Campomanes, whose contribution in promoting chess I personally witnessed. It is still vivid to me when after our maiden friendship match with China in 1975, he whispered to me these prophetic words, we have just awakened a sleeping giant. I can further attest to the great success of FIDE in promoting chess worldwide because the Olympiad went from 60 participating teams in my first Olympiad in 1970 to 188 teams in 2022. The World Junior went from being held every two years to becoming a yearly competition. Then the all-important age group events and many more official FIDE tournaments were introduced. And the interest in chess multiplied with the advent of computer chess. But for FIDE to achieve such a great stride, it needed the helping hand of all sectors, encompassing the support of the government and private sectors. Exactly what is being exemplified here in St. Louis, with the backing of, of course, of the national federations. It was this kind of partnership that helped FIDE achieve its objective of popularizing chess worldwide. Thank you to all the organizers and sponsors of all the local and international tournaments, especially the ones I have played to starting in the late 60s and up to the present. During the 70s, it was practically impossible for an Asian to become a grandmaster unless he campaigns for the title in an international tournament in Europe. Actually, there were tournaments, uh, we were together with uh, my friend uh, James uh, Sargent. Also, my gratitude to the Philippine government for supporting various international events such as the 1978 World Championship held in Baguio and the 1992 World Chess Olympiad in Manila. To my chess federation, which supports me and continues to promote chess in our country. To my parents for providing all the support that guided me in the right direction. And to my siblings for the much needed practice during my formative years when tournaments were a rarity. To Bobby Fisher, the great friendship we shared, and his trust in me as his second in the 1992 World Championship match with Boris Spassky. To all the chess colleagues I have encountered on the board and to my chess fans for their unwavering support. 
to my many patrons and sponsors, both in the government and private sectors. And last but not the least, to my wife, the wind beneath my wings. <laughs> my, thank you, uh, Marlene. My travel companion and source of inspiration, and to my only child, Nicole, and my grandchildren who made my life complete. I would also like to congratulate all my co-inductees. Sharing the accolade, accolade with you is tr truly an honor. Again, a million thanks to the host and organizers of World Chess Hall of Fame, especially to Mr. and Mrs. Singh, 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 Singhfield. In closing, I would like to share that it has greatly benefited me to apply what I've learned in chess to my everyday life. And that is to always protect and promote our mental king, physical king, and the most important of all, our spiritual king. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you.